and welcome you guys to another Free Play Friday here at the BOGO Dojo. And I, Danny K, will be playing Super Crate Box for you guys. It is a free game on Game Jolt as well as on Steam. It's free on both. Uh, we found it on Game Jolt and we figured out that it's actually on Steam as well. And uh, it is... I'm not entirely sure who it's made it. by a group called Flam Beer, which their mascot is a bear that's on fire. Yeah. Like, when you start up the game, all of a sudden you see a bear just get lit <laughs> It just gets engulfed in a flame. That bear is on fire. And the bear's just standing there like it's just everyday normal life. But, yeah, so uh, if you guys are interested in the game after the video, we will be putting a link to the Game Jolt site and you can play it there or if you have your steam account you can find it super crate box there but let's get into the game and pressing the right let's button. see what's so super about it Ooh, i need to do to do things uh mode normal i can't I think that's your only option right now yeah. so this is the first nice time hair i know right this is the first oh wrong button sorry oh, man we're off to a button. great start here um this is the first time i oh. played the actual game uh, so, hello? Oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay, now I'm back in it. I, we're, we in there. And, um, I went through the tutorial level and figured out how to supposedly play this game correctly. And You're doing awesome so far. <coughs> hey. <coughs> I'm sorry, okay. I have okay. a cold. I got this. I got this. We, we, we're fine. Are we? Are we really? Yes. We are absolutely fine. Everything is peachy. You notice how his hair changes? Yeah. Or sh her? His or her? It. It. What are you? I don't know. Just some random dude. Square dude. Oh! Okay. Man, yeah. you knocked that guy out. I'm good with this bazooka for now. There we go. Look at that at big guy. The, he looks so grumpy. He's like, Meme, I'm so disgruntled. The uh, explosion itself looks like it uh, helps with kills. So Explosions have, tend to do that. I don't have to worry about being super direct with it. Explosions tend to do that. Yeah, usually. And take that. Bam. I missed. Take no, that. you got the other guy, though. Good job, Ooh. you got a twofer there. I'm all about a twofer. Not that a twofer. Go, that guy's gonna get mad, though. Oh, he's mad. He mad. Oh, he mad. But luckily, he's a... I say you, he mad. Pretty easy guy. Nice! So I got my 10, so I should get a new level and weapon, I think. And... Let's see. Ah, uh, shotgun has no range! Go figure! So, apparently there's no story to this game at all. Except that Danny really, really is awful at this game. Listen, I... It, hey, you got a is, revolver. This is a a game that you will be playing over and over again to get good scores. For okay? ages to come. That's right. So... Ooh, it's a different stage. Give me give me a break. Ooh, you got a... Aw, oh, you should have stuck with the revolver. Well, the, the point of this there is, you go. To, is to, you know... Yeah, but score. play with it for a little bit, man. Play with it for a little bit. Oh gosh! This is, it's shaking the whole screen. This is a little hardcore here. And you can rap fire Jeez. pretty well. Oh! Oh! Switched it before I could get a shot off. So this is kind of like reminiscent of the original Mario Bros game. Not Super Mario Bros, but Mario Bros, where you go around and you have to take out the enemies, except you don't have guns in that. You just jump on them. Yeah, and the other the other aspect of it is it's also like uh, um, Bubble Bubble. If you've ever played that on the NES. Nope. Never. And, um, it, it, because, you know, when... Well, I guess it's a, a mix of both, it, really, because... Bubble Bobble versus uh, Mario, because, you know, when the... Uh, no, because if the enemy gets down and Bubble Bobble... He fell on me, and I... You should have moved! should have moved. You should have moved, man. Um, when Bubble Bobble, the enemy falls down, he gets more angry. Or, angrier. No, when he gets out of the bubble, he gets angrier. When... 
That is a word, so, right? Yeah, yeah, it's angrier. angrier. Yeah, yeah. So I guess it's a combination of both. I don't like you, Skull. I really like the revolver, though. That's pretty cool. I like yeah, pretty awesome. the, the dual pistols. Oh, yeah, those dual pistols are weak. Take that! What is this? Uh, Ace Attorney? <laughs> nice. I love those games. Sick reference, Phoenix bro. Wright. They came out with a new one recently. Yeah, I saw that. I want to play it. Oh, whoa, there's recoil. <laughs> That's awesome. Much like a regular revolver. Oh, or wow. is it the machine gun? Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, you go almost away, bit that. Away. I did almost bite that. Ooh, apparently you don't get damage from the explosions. I'm okay with that. There uh, we go. Okay, revolver. Uh, take that. Uh, where's my other box? There it is. And there we go. New new level, new guns. Is that, no, I need to get 25. It's amazing how in our day and age that computer games have gotten to a point where lay, not lay people, but just people who aren't employed in a business that conducts it can just make games. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, people can make games in their free time nowadays. Yeah. It's, like it's, this. Yeah. It's, great. it's oh, truly impressive. I mean, Vlambeer might be more established, but... As far as uh, just other people, how they can make games that people can play. I mean, Game Jolt has these things called uh, the Game Dare Challenge, I believe, that allows people to compete and have a certain amount of time to make a game, and then they find out by votes which of them has made the best game. So it's become really a commonplace thing. I'm not that smart to be able to make a game. But uh, yeah, neither am I. It's really. pretty. Uh, it's pretty impressive what they do out there. Like even as a, as you know, studying to become a programmer that I am, I'm, I'm not. Design has always been a an issue with me when it comes to programs in general, uh, and certainly the ideas of games. You know. Oh yeah, and it's so crucial to design because I mean they hire exact roles just for design. Oh yeah. Even for websites or for. Um, Software, like our software. Where is it? For the company I work for, we have people that are dedicated purely for the UI design for our software. Yeah. Because user experience is crucial. Absolutely. Fun little backstory. I don't know if I ever told you about this, Danny, but one time, um, the one time I had been to Scotland on a job, I actually ended up meeting oh, no. the girl responsible for the UX design, user experience for those of you that may not know, uh, designed for Cartoon Network web-based browser games. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was random. Like, I just met her randomly in a restaurant at, in Scotland in Edinburgh, and I was just talking to her because she recognized my accent wasn't a Scottish accent, and we just started having a conversation about UX and how it's important to have a valid user experience, which... We were talking about how, for example, Apple does a great job with that, for example, with their iPhones, because a successful user design experience is if the child can figure out how to use the phone or whatever, then that's a successful design. And Danny's about to have an aneurysm, and look at that guy, he's so raging. Oh, what am I missing? Oh my gosh. So you're supposed to kill these guys, you're not supposed to let them go in the fire. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I, I need to kill these guys. Because that gives you crates. Uh, no. The crates spawn automatically. Oh. I just, but so if I want not this to not be overrun. I need to kill them <laughs> because they're burning hot. Dual pistol. I don't want freaking dual pistols. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah! You're almost there, Danny. Actually, okay, those revolver. dual pistols Revolver's worked good. out pretty well. Okay. Also, what's that guy in the middle doing? You see that guy in the uh, background? It's a, it's, it's a it's a tower, like a sacrifice. Oh, and thing. it's opening up. Oh, okay. oh, you were so close, Danny. I know, astronaut. What? Oh, character, what? character. I was about to say, is that a <laughs> weapon? weapon? Throw astronauts at people, chuck them at them. Okay. Oh, and there. Come on, I'm bringing you over. <sighs> and uh, but yeah, the this game is once again on Game Jolt and on Steam. It is free to play. It's a nice little kind of arcadey game, you know. Very much so. Compete yeah. with your friends, see who can do better. Get the most crates and uh, advance. Hopefully, you're better than Danny here, because uh, uh, he's. I mean, he's I'm, doing yeah, really yeah, awful right now. I think I've gotten like 11 at most at any of these. So yeah, not exactly something to write home about. 
<laughs> what just happened? <laughs> After death. I'll take it. On that note, well, we will end with Danny in a fiery pit of death. Yeah, and if you guys get this game and play it, let me know what scores you get. I'm curious to see uh, how you guys do. So, uh, I w- we will... See. Yes, we, because we're a collective t- yes. two. There are two of us. Yes. We will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.